Hi guys and welcome to Cultonomics. My name is Paul Hanley and today I'm going to be chatting to you about the simple money multiplier. In this video here we're taking an example of money creation in the economy, how much money can be created by a deposit into the banking system somewhere in the macro economy. The example we're going to look at is with a 500 euro deposit initially placed into the banking system at one point in time and the reserve requirement in that banking system is 10%. So what does this mean? Well, a reserve requirement is the amount of cash that a bank has to keep legally, the minimum amount, when there is a deposit in the system. So for example, if there's a 100 euro deposited by a customer in a savings account, in this system here, 10% of it or 10 euro would have to be kept in reserve. Okay, so taking the example here of a 500 euro deposit, we have in our table here a column with deposit. So we're going to say in round number one, there is 500 euro deposited into this banking system here, into one of the banks in the system. The reserve requirement is set at 10% in our example, which means 10% of 500 euro must be kept in the banking system as cash in reserve. So this is, in our case, 50 euro. Now, because it's kept in reserve, this means that it cannot be used to earn money. So it cannot be loaned out into the system. The only amount that can be loaned in this case here is the 500 euro deposit that comes in minus what must be kept as reserve, minus the 50 euro here. So a bank can potentially, in total, loan out the difference between 500 and the 50 euro reserve, which is 450 euro. They mightn't loan all of this out, but this is the potential maximum that could be created out of a 500 euro deposit in round number one. However, because we're talking about the macro economy, this 450 euro is unlikely to stay out there in the economy as cash. If it's spent in, for example, an electrical goods store, uh, if this is spent in terms of the 450 euro in this store, what will likely happen is the store owner will deposit this back into the bank. So what this means is in the likely scenario and simplified scenario that the 450 created in loans will not stay out in the system as cash, but will be deposited back in to the banking system at some point. Not the same bank perhaps, but back into the banking system. So 450 will come back in as a new deposit into the banking system from a new person, the owner of the electrical goods store, in which case it's treated as a new deposit. So 450 comes in, 10% of that new deposit must be kept in reserve. So that means that 45 euro must be kept in reserve. And again, the difference between these two figures, between the deposit and the reserve requirement can be loaned out, can be used to create new money. So the difference between these two figures is 405 euro. So now we have loans in the economy of 450 initially, deposited back into the economy, which creates a new loan of 405. However, because this again is highly unlikely to stay out in the system as cash, it's likely that someone will not keep 405 euro on them, that that will be deposited back into the banking system again in round three. This will be treated as a new deposit entirely into the banking system, of which only 10% must be kept in reserve. So 10% of this is 40 euro and 50 cent. And again, the difference potentially can be loaned out. So the maximum amount that could be loaned out in the third round is 364 euro and 50 cent. And this process would continue because you can see in each round, the loan is getting smaller but it will continue down for a large number of rounds of money creation until we get to zero here on the loan side and we can see the total amount of money created. Now, we can actually summarize this information quite easily with what we call the money multiplier. So we have a summary formula that will summarize all the information we're trying to work out on the table over here. And in that 
formula it says that the money multiplier is one all over r r which is the reserve requirement so one divided by the reserve requirement in this case here so the money multiplier is this simple formula it is multiplied by the initial deposit so when the deposit comes into the economy we multiply it by one over r r now in our case the deposit we know is 500 euro so 500 euro comes into the economy we can now multiply this by one over or our reserve requirement is 10% which in decimal point terms is 0 0.1 so the formula becomes 500 initial deposit multiplied by 1 over 0 0.1 is 10 which means that the total money created in the economy is 5000 euro but the difference here is we have to take into account the initial deposit of 500 euro because that stays in the banking system. So we take away, in our case here, the initial deposit of 500 euro to give us the amount of new money that can potentially be created in the banking system. And the new money that can potentially be created is 5,000 minus 500, which is 4,000 500 euro so from an initial deposit of 500 euro the amount of potential money that could be created in total would be 4500 i hope you call back to cultnomics soon bye for now